Hello, and thanks for joining. This demonstration is to convert an order over to a shipment and confirm that shipment. So for this demo, this is a very simple approach. This is uh, not using any hardware devices. Um, we have other demonstrations that will be coming soon to show those kinds of things. So we have a sales order here from USA Bartending with one item on it. So there's two ways to get this process started. The first is just from a single order, I can go and say create shipment. Okay. This is a very um, simple process where I go here, create shipment. I choose the warehouse. Of course, it's picking the warehouse because the item already has it defined. And first off, <clears throat> the item comes over and the ship quantity is here. And the ship quantity, of course, we can change. Assuming we don't have enough uh, to send out the door, we can alter this if something uh, isn't quite right. We don't want to send that one out. We could certainly do that. Under orders, we have the ability to drive back over to the sales order, the original sales order. Under ship settings, these settings were inherited from the order, which were inherited from the customer, from, from their prime, primary location in this case. So in addition to shipping address, we also have things like the delivery method, ship via, and some of the other preferences about shipping. So um, FOB point, uh, shipping terms, they allow you to determine how much you want to charge the customer for the shipping charges. And you can see there's a few examples here, but you can create as many shipping term codes as you like. Um, and then the shipping zone ID. So in Acumatica, we can use carriers uh, such as FedEx and UPS um, and stamps.com and there's many others coming. So when we do that and we select, uh, for example, FedEx Ground, um, the system will use your negotiated rates. Uh, and those rates, you'll, you'll see the cost in the shipment and the sales order. And um, again, based on the shipping terms, those fees would be charged to the customer. Okay, so now under packages, this is the package I'm choosing to ship this particular item out in. So if I click plus here and I select a package, these are all configurable. You can define whichever packages. Notice the maximum amount of the weight, uh, box weight, volume, length, width, height, and you can define them with whatever name you'd like. Acumatic also has an auto packaging option, which based on the item's dimensions or weight and so on, the system will know what size box it can optimally pick. In this case, we're gonna choose a medium box and we're gonna give it a weight, uh, two kilograms. This is also a setting in the system. And um, we have it now confirmed. So we'll come over here and we'll say actions confirm shipment. This confirms the entire shipment, stating that I put everything in the box. So as soon as I do that, notice I get the FedEx tracking number and I also get the label. The label is attached here. So when I click on it, you'll notice I can see the actual tracking label. I can click on it and you can see a test FedEx label here. I will close out of that. Now typically this would be a ZPL, like a zebra printer format that you'd use, but um, for the purposes of demonstration, we switch it to a uh, an image that we can see in a browser. And now that this is confirmed, we can simply invoice it. Okay, that'd be the next step. But now I wanna shift gears for a second. In Acumatica, under our sales order work area, there's a number of processing screens. So if we go back to the shipment, there's a couple options let me just show and then I'll get back to that. So I want to undo what we just did. So to do that, I can go, because it hasn't been invoiced yet, I can go and correct the shipment. 
And this allows me to go in and make changes to the quantity. You know, maybe the label didn't come out right and I need to print it again and, and, um, and so on. So I can do that and I can reconfirm the shipment once I'm done. But in this case, I'm actually gonna delete the shipment and the sales order would get updated as if nothing ever happened. So you can see that we're back to the sales order and it's open now. And this is sales order 4539. So getting back to the screen here, under process orders, this is just, these are screens, these process screens are areas where we do things uh, in mass mass production. So we can do multiple orders and process multiple orders and multiple shipments and multiple invoices from these processing screens. So as at first glance, there's not much going on here because we haven't selected an action. So here's some of the actions we could do on orders. So we could prepare an invoice and that's typical if the order has maybe non-stock items on it and it's ready for invoicing right from the get-go. Uh, maybe it just has services only. Um, if a order was put on credit hold, Acumatic it can automatically put orders on credit hold based on some criteria. This would show a list of all the orders that were on credit hold. We can also cancel orders that are sitting out there. For example, um, orders that might be in back order status or just orders in general. Now, if we went in here to cancel orders, we can check off the ones we needed to cancel. Maybe the customer is calling us uh, and they want us to cancel some of their orders. Uh, or lastly, and most commonly, is create shipment. So when we go to create shipment, this gives us the ability to check off the orders we want and process them. So now those shipments will be created for all of these orders. Also, depending upon your preference, Acumatica can look at the same customer with the same address, shipping address, and it can actually consolidate the orders into one shipment. That's a preference based on the order type. Okay. Now, back to uh, what we had before. We had an order that was a sales order that was 4539. Uh, uh, let's do this. Let's create So if we go up here to the upper right hand corner, we could type in that 4539 order and Acumatica found it. I'm only searching for that because that's the order we worked on before. And I want to show some of the processing screens. So we'll check this and we'll say process. Okay, so now this, this order has switched to shipping. So now that we looked at some of the process order screens, let's go to process shipments. So again, a, a screen here with actions. So we could prepare invoices from here, um, shipments that have been confirmed. We can update inventory if we just want to update inventory and not prepare invoices. We can print our labels from here, uh, email out shipments, um, and print our pick list, which is typically the next step. So I'm going to check this off. And this is something we didn't do in our previous step. So this is a good opportunity to do it now. So I'm checking this off and I'm saying process. And again, based on the number of shipments here, Acumatica will produce all of the uh, pick tickets uh, for all the shipments that we've selected. You can see here it is, it's barcoded. So typically we scan this. If we're using a WMS system and we have handheld hardware, we might scan the shipment and then scan all the items that are in there. There's only one item in this, but uh, we'd scan all the items to update them, their quantities on the shipment. And then in there, we would um, either scan this to confirm the picked items, or your handheld would typically have a button to do that. Okay. Acumatica from its own um, app can uh, use Android or iOS uh, to perform these handheld functions. Okay, so now we printed our pick list. And now if we go back to process shipments, notice the pick list is no longer an option because Acumatica marked it that it was printed. Okay, so if we go over here, over to our shipment, and let's say we want to confirm it, we can come over here and check it and say process.
And now we've confirmed the shipment and this one's out the door. At this point, we can go back in and go to process shipments and also print our labels, for example. So this would print all our labels um, and we can also even print our shipment confirmations. This is our packing slips. So this is how we would do this in mass and put all our symbol oral boxes, uh, all our labels together and label them out. As warehouse management and warehouse functions can flow in many different directions, it's a good idea to give us a call so that we can perform a special demo for you. If you've never seen the software before, if you have a different workflow, a different process, it's always a good idea to have this demonstrated to you so you understand uh, the different ways we can do this. Thank you very much for watching.